Hi! Welcome back to my channel. So this isn't um, one of my plus size fashion videos, but it is um, still going to be a cool video, so you should watch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But this is my Ancestry DNA results. I'm going to talk a little bit about my background. What I was expecting, what I was hoping to find, and how I feel about my results. Um, so basically... I've been wanting to do Ancestry DNA for a very long time, mainly because of my um, my mom's side, because her side to me is just a mystery in many ways, um, or it was a mystery. <laughs> so um, my dad's side, I've traced that back, and just from what I've heard, and I have traced it back, so I've pretty much verified the family lore there. English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, German, Swiss, French, and a little bit of Dutch. So, that's that. Pretty obvious. Nothing surprising. Um, my mom's side, I did trace some English, some Irish, and Scottish. Um, but that's about it. With her side of the family tree, it's really, um, there's, there's a lot of brick walls. I hit a lot of brick walls with the women on that side. Um, and her side of the family comes from a specific area in the Appalachian Mountains. Um, like the Cumberland Gap area, um, which includes, um, East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia, and uh, Southeastern Kentucky. Um, that's where her side of the family comes from. It's like all of them, basically. It's kind of crazy. They all migrated together. It was really strange. Um, notably, Hawkins County, Tennessee, was a place that was believed to be like the home of the Melungeon people. Now, the Melungeon people were um, believed historically to be a tri-racial um, group of people. Um, they were believed to be of Northern European, African, and Native American uh, mixture. Um, then there were other theories that they were mixed with Portuguese, they were mixed with Gypsies, they were mixed with Turkish people. Um, there have been, uh, I think, a few DNA studies done on certain families from that region uh, who were known to be of Melungeon descent. They were found, I think there was a study that was found that they were just black and white. Um, other people that um, are of Melungeon said they've done DNA testing and they've came back Portuguese. Um, I think it's funny uh, because my mom's side of the family, they identify as Native American, uh, of course. <laughs> of course, I mean, you had to expect that clicking on this video, okay? This, let's be real. <laughs> um, did I believe it? Um, I actually did. Not because I'm naive, but just because of how much they are into the whole Native American thing and just from how they look. And I will put pictures in this video just to show you. I'll kind of let that do the talking, and you can give me your opinion. It's okay. Um, I, I actually invite a general discussion because I love talking about this stuff and if you have any more information uh, specifically about Melungeons or um, the Hawkins County Tennessee area um, feel free to let me know because yeah or if, you're, or if your family's from that area um, but I think it's funny because my other grandma would always tell me that she thought that my mom's side of the family she was like you know what I always thought them them people look Turkish and I'm just like okay okay that makes sense okay um, so I guess um, that's what they were now there are some theories saying that um, southeastern woodland uh, Native Americans were actually originally like a mix of European and Western Asian uh, people um, I don't necessarily um, which I know they've came back in like uh, created new theories. I mean, they're still trying to figure out where the Native Americans came from. Originally, it was, you know, there was just this massive migration over the Bering Strait thousands and thousands of years ago, and, and those people uh, populated the American continents. Then it was like, no, we were wrong. There are multiple migrations. I believe in the multiple migration, basically from every which way. Because <laughs> um, there is just loss of accounts. There's been... Uh, there's been evidence found all over the continents of uh, previous kind of cultures and things. So it's like, it's, it's seriously just all a mystery. But it is believed by uh, some people that the, the, eastern, the eastern bands of Native Americans were actually a mix of European and Western Asian. And I think that's why there is a, like a 
general differential look to Native Americans across the, co the continents. They look different. And it was said how um, there are these stories passed down about the Melungeons, how they um, would be seen stopping and praying to the east, that they shared a lot of the same culture and customs of Turkish people. Um, so it's just, it's all crazy. It's crazy. One of my first ever memories uh, was at my grandma's house um, on my mom's side. And she's pretty much always looked the way she does now. <laughs> People always comment um, that she's like not aging. She's looked this way forever. And of course the response is, oh, that's the native blood in her. That's the native blood in her. But See, they believe, they believe that my great, great grandmother was a full-blooded Cherokee Indian. Unfortunately, that isn't true. Um, and this is an attack on them because I know that they deeply believe this and um, they're, they're in a way deeply rooted in the Native American culture. If there was a Native American ancestor at some point in my, in my uh, ancestry, it would have possibly been with my sixth great-grandmother. Um, she went by the name Little Deer. That's basically all you can find. You can find her uh, year of birth and her date of birth and where she was born and where she died. She was born in Hawkins County, Tennessee, the place of the Melungeons. Um, as is pretty much all my mom's side of the family, like I said. Um, that's basically it. And there's there, there are, like, people posting on the internet from, like, the 90s asking about this woman. And, like, everybody just hits a brick wall. There's no there's nothing about her um, other than her name and, like, you know, she went by Little Deer and, you know. So, who knows at this point. Um, I did do my Ancestry DNA and it came back with 0% Native American which in a way I was expecting. <laughs> um, let's see. I was 99% European, of course. Now I did expect to have a lot more Great Britain just because on my dad's side, it was just like England, 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 back like the freaking 1100s, freaking England. And I was just like, I'm just gonna be like 90% Great Britain. Great Britain, which there's nothing wrong with that. But it was pretty cool to get my results and have a lower uh, percentage of Great Britain just because you, you want it to be a little surprising. Let's be real. You want it to be a little surprising. And uh, I actually had the highest percentage be Europe West, 33%, which is um, Belgium, France, Germany, Netherlands, uh, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. It's also found in England, Denmark, Italy, Slovenia, and Czech Republic. That's expected. Um, so I know my dad's side also had like the French and uh, there was a, a significant amount of French on my dad's side through my uh, grandma's mom. So his grandmother. Yeah. My Great Britain was only 26%. The range though is like 55%. It could be up to 55%, but they have me at 26%. Um, that was, like I said, very surprising. And another surprising thing was that I was way more Irish than I expected. They have me at a quarter Irish at 25%. The range goes up to 42%, but still, um, it's a bit crazy <laughs> to me anyways, because I, I knew that I had Irish, but I didn't think, which again, you know, I understand that DNA and genetics and everything is really random. Um, that's why siblings can look drastically different. They get different percentages of the uh, DNA. So I got a good amount of Irish and also have Scandinavia, um, which is to be expected. It was 7%. It could be up to 21%, but let's be real. Um, the Vikings, they got around. So that's, that's expected. Finland, Northwest Russia, which was a surprise. That was a surprise. Um, that was 4%, and then the range goes up to 8%. Uh, Italy, Greece, 3%. Um, the range for that also goes up to 8%. And I did have, uh, for them, less than 1% European Jewish. That goes up to 2%. Um, let's see... I did have, um, they have me at 0%, but they had a range for North Africa. <clears throat> I think it was uh, less than 1%. They also had a range for Pacific Islander, for Polynesia and Melanesia, less than 1%, and that's the Pacific Islands. That's uh, <clears throat> Hawaii, Melanesia, Philippines, Micronesia, New Zealand, Fiji, Tonga, Samoa, 
um, Aboriginal Australia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, New Caledonia, you get it. So um, I thought that was kind of interesting, but obviously it was like barely anything. So they just basically saying you're not that, but there could be a trace of that somewhere. So I thought that was interesting. West Asia. 1% um, West Asian from the Caucasus region. You see where I'm going with this? So the Caucasus region, um, that's primarily uh, located in Armenia. Azerbaijan, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I probably should have did the whole Google Translate and have them pronounce it for me so then I could be like prepared and correct and give good content, but I digress. Georgia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey. It's also found in Bulgaria, Jordan, Greece, Italy, Kuwait, Palestine, Romania, and Turkmenistan. So, with that said, there is possibly what I've gotten from my mom's side of the family. The Caucasus. Caucasus? 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's basically all I am. That's it. So, 99% European. Uh, possibly, possibly some uh, North African. Possibly the tiny, irrelevant amount, I guess, of Pacific Islander. Um, and West Asian and a little bit of Jewish. Um, and then I really was intrigued with the whole uh, Finland, Northwest Russia. That's basically like the Arctic. I've, I've told like multiple people in my life I'm like why can't I just live in the Arctic like I don't know I've always had this draw <laughs> to the Arctic and on top of that people have always told me that I remind them of a Eskimo like the Inuit and I just think that's so funny that because I, I, um, I googled this whole Northwest Russia and the, the finish up there around the Arctic and they look very very similar if not the exact same as you know the Inuit up north on this side of the world and um, it's just so interesting it makes sense and I was just so excited about that I was so excited about that and I guess that's why people assume that I uh, they ask me if I'm Asian I've had people assume that I'm like a little bit part um, Hispanic or Mexican um, so it's just interesting, I guess. Um, I know in high school I used to dye my hair black, and I remember coming to school one day and going up to this group of kids. It was just like, you know, in the hallway, they were just chilling. And like they straight up thought that I was a foreign exchange student from Asia. And I'm like, no. I'm like, dude, we sat together in second grade. I mean, it was just, it was, it blew my mind. I was like, oh my God. So, um, I don't know. I don't. I really don't. It's still kind of a mystery, but I think that definitely um, my mom's side is where I get that. That's the West Asian coming in. I have to. It just has to be. So whether or not that is truly um, Native American, I guess I'll never know. Um, but it is cool, and it does give me a little bit of an answer there. I'm just really excited. Um, about my results. I honestly am. I did upload this to GEDmatch, my raw data. I am not an expert. I was so confused. I've just been playing around, clicking on random shit. I did find out though that my parents, um, there was no indication that they were related. I mean, that's a relief. I am from Kentucky. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Okay. Just a little bit about the Jed match. Um, I don't know. Everybody's like, oh, this is reliable. It really breaks down your ethnicity, blah, blah, blah. And most of it is the same, but I do pick up American Indian on um, Jed match in small amounts. I think the highest amount I got was 3%, uh, well, 3.48%, I think. Um, I also get Siberia. If, the thing with GEDmatch is it's a lot more ancient than Ancestry DNA. Um, I think even in 23andMe, um, they use references and DNA that, that goes back thousands of years. So I think it would be kind of fitting that 
a lot of us would get maybe Siberian or whatever. Um, but I do get Siberian. I do get the, the Oceanian, Oceanian, I think that's how you would pronounce it. That's the Pacific Islands. That's, I get Australian or Austral, uh, Australoid, Australoid. I get Beringian, which, uh, I didn't know this, um, <laughs> was the area in between Siberia and Alaska. I get a little bit of that. Um, I get Southeast Asian. I get a lot of the Western Asian, um, around Syria and uh, um, uh, Iranian. I get a lot of that. I get a lot of Hungarian. And then obviously the, the bigger portion on Jedmatch is the English and the Irish and the Scottish and a lot of, a lot of Russia. At this point, it's fun. It's entertaining. <laughs> like I said, it's just kind of confusing because the origin of Native Americans is still kind of being researched. There's no definite answer and timeline and origin to that history. Um, we just have these ideas and so many people, they differ in their opinions and their research and it's just, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. I'm, I'm interested. You know, what are your experiences? Um, if you know more about Jedmatch, feel free to chime in at any point <laughs> because I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, I guess this is long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I did want to just give a quick shout out to the people that are subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that and welcome. Um, like I said, I know this isn't one of my usual uh, fashion videos. I'll get back to that. But I did want to do this video because it's something I've been into ancestry like as long as I can remember. Like even when I was a kid, I was on Ancestry.com. Um, just because like my, my uh, grandmother actually raised me. My father died um, in a car accident before I was born. Um, and my mom was deemed unfit to parent. So... <laughs> Um, I was on there looking at birth records and things like that because I was interested in my father and so it just kind of stuck with me ancestry and genealogy it just it just stuck with me so anyways thanks so much for watching um, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video or if you are into fashion videos uh, so yeah um, I'm going to get back to my coffee um, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video thanks bye